Remember, the level of recommendation should match the level of the evidence. And no matter how you shake it in this study, this is very low quality evidence. Another study claims seed oils are healthy and butter is unhealthy. None of these papers that they produce are new studies. They're simply new analyses of these troves of data previously collected from the nurses health study cohorts one and two and the health professionals follow-up cohort. They simply enrolled individuals in these cohorts decades ago, had them answer a dietary food frequency questionnaire, which they repeat every decade or so, or you know, every few years. And then they follow them to see who gets cancer or heart disease, who lives and who dies. So it's important to realize there's no intervention, there's no treatment, and there's no substitution. They're just simply following them. And the substitution part's important because the conclusions often say like, oh, if you just substitute seed oils for butter, you reduce your risk by this much. But, or if you, you know, substitute plant protein for animal protein. But that's all like computer modeling based on low quality evidence. It's not based in reality and not something they did. Remember, the level of recommendation should match the level of the evidence. And no matter how you shake it in this study, this is very low quality evidence. And as we frequently point out here at Metabolic Mind, these studies, they don't control for overall dietary quality, right? They don't control for the amount of carbs, refined carbs, whole foods versus ultra processed foods, snacks, etc. So in my opinion, if someone's eating a predominantly whole foods, low carb diet that contains a fair amount of butter, this study has exactly zero relevance to that individual. 